All right, guys, welcome back to another Warframe video. In the last video, we were uh, putting Zaku to the test in Steel Path. Um, really, really enjoyed the experience. Uh, that's a fun frame. Uh, even after the first time while I was just ranking it up, I had a suspicion uh, that it was going to end up feeling really, really nice. And it's going to be one I'm going to keep in the regular rotation. And uh, yeah, playing through Steel Path absolutely solidified that opinion for me. Very cool frame. Um, but uh, it's been uh, about 10 days since I last played um, and I had done some grinding in the background after my last uh, Zaku recording that I did and you'll probably already see over there. So I've got a few new things I've got going in the background. Uh, let's start with a companion. I did grind and get the Nautilus Prime. Um, I need to form it to make use of one more slot here, but it's uh, already looking pretty good. I did throw a potato in there. So one forma should be all it takes to get uh, max use out of all of these slots. Uh, so that's my setup on the Nautilus Prime. And then on the Verglass Prime, uh, I just did a forma, so it's got to rank back up, uh, but I'm working on being able to fill all these mod slots out. Very interesting uh, companion. Um, seems very useful. The fact that it shoots cold and can kind of cluster enemies is uh, quite nice. i got a lot of different ways I consider modding this out. I do think that I want to keep the cold. I don't think I want to convert that into anything else. Um, but I may play around with that decision. Uh, if anything else, I could at least get one more status on to make uh, the most use out of galvanized aptitude. So I've probably got, uh, what is it? Radiated reload, right? Yep, that'll throw on radiation. Plus, I mean, not that I think the reload is slow or anything, uh, but I've got that going. Um, so that's something I've been slowly working on. I've also got a few other things crafting here. I've got my Zaku Prime, which I did get all of the parts to drop. I've got that crafting. And aside from the uh, Nautilus Prime, I've also now picked up as well uh, Sevagoth Prime. So yeah, did a fair bit of uh, Farming, relic farming, and farming for stuff, which also got me a lot more form of blueprints in the background, so I'm finally able to craft some more again. I've kept it, I think, around the mid-30s still. Yeah, 30 out. I had 35 until I started playing today, because I really started uh, using some formas. Um, as I've been playing, obviously, yeah, the Torrid slaps. The Felarx is pretty solid. Uh, but, you know, constantly playing in Karnans... Uh, you know, it's, the, the Torrid in particular can feel quite silly. So I was thinking, you know, let's see if we can find some normal weapons that would be some good incarnate weapon alternatives. And as I was scrolling through my list, I remembered the Stalta being quite good. Uh, and that was before I ever got any galvanized mods on it. So before I edited it, I had, uh, if you looked at the radial attack, it was pumping out something like 17,000 damage, and it felt pretty good, uh, which on paper is better than it is now, but the way that the galvanized mods work, I am certain uh, that it is now hitting harder than it did, and I remember liking the Stalta, so I decided to come give this another try. I threw a ton of formas on here uh, to get a bunch of different mods. Um, I even played around with the Arcane. I originally had it on... Uh, which one? Give me one second. Primary Merciless, right? Is what I had it on? Yep, Primary Merciless. But it's 15 damage for 4 seconds, and that stacks up to 12 times, versus this, 60% for 24 seconds that stacks up to 3 times. Um, this being an extremely accurate weapon, I didn't see any reason to not use Deadhead. It just seems like the better fit. So that's what we're going to try. This this is a build that I'm just testing. So what I'm going to do today, I'm just going to use whoever I want uh, with the primary uh, goal being just playing around with the Stalta in higher level content, seeing how I think it feels, continuing to work up the Nautilus and Verglass in the background to get more useful mods on there. 
So we are just going to be focusing on uh, resuming my Steel Path playthrough. So let's uh, swap that on. Let's go ahead and toggle over to Solo. Uh, truly don't remember where I left off. Did I wrap up Saturn? No, not yet. What do I have left? Spy. Okay. And the Arcwing mission. I guess, you know what? Let's just, let's just do Spy. Yeah, Dante's not you know the best spy frame but let's let's just bring him in um so that's how i'm gonna play this um gonna start with dayun we're gonna wrap up saturn then we're gonna resume our work on europa got some enemies let's see how this feels Tenno, be on the lookout for increased security measures let's status prime them first we should have some yeah 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 all it takes is one one elimination and then you can keep it all going um down we want to keep our perks going on in the background ah I am out of dinner do that for just a second oh good out of uh, stop the energy now too. Um, all right, so Okay, so the Stalta is not uh, pumping out damage quite, you know, to the same level of swiftness that, say, the Torrid did. Glass is doing a pretty good job of um, Stay focused. keeping some cold effects on, though. So, okay. Could really use some ammo. Yeah, I guess maybe it always feels like a waste of mod. Can't do anything to him while he's meditating. Okay. Oh, the Broken War. Okay. So I had converted my Broken War into the war. So that's actually pretty cool to be able to get the Broken War back. Broken War, obviously, at least in my opinion, um, is a little more fun weapon to use just because it hits so fast. It doesn't hit as hard, but it does hit quite fast. So regardless, let's go ahead and move on. We I'm detecting a large security force heading definitely way. need to grab here. some ammo for our Stalta here. 40. 
Yeah, that's not very much. We can at least get moving on to the correct path, though. in the background so yeah this obviously it's going quite a bit slower than say if i were rolling a torrid or something like that which is frankly to be expected but it is uh making this take quite a bit longer than it normally does which I guess is okay. I don't want to push up until I have more ammo at the ready. Oh, that jerk grabbed my gun. Properly hate those guys. Okay. Well, no, we want to get some priming on. And then we'll take one out. Ah, this thing really does burn through the ammo, though. So, I definitely need to make some tweaks to the stall test. It needs to be hitting harder than this to be a viable incarnate replacement. But I feel like it should be able to do it. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Maybe I should consider uh, popping some viral on or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll play around with it. This is just my first initial thoughts setup that I wanted to try out. Forty rounds. Yeah, that's just not not enough. But anyway, let's go ahead. Let's move up. Move up to where we need to be. Now hit that. Nope, I already did hit that. Uh, so let's just go for A since that's in the opposite direction from everything else. Yeah, that's still open. No problem. So You're let's come in the here. Console. Trigger the alarms now, and they will start destroying the data. We fought with honor. It should open the bridge. Oh, nope, it's the other button. How is that thing here and not seeing me? Oh, come on. Alarms. Data destruction <laughs> is imminent. You need to hurry. That's fine. I'm not going to risk it. I'll just Data quickly pull it. Get out of here. Successful. I didn't even know that uh, one of those little... I don't know what you call them. They're sentries of some kind. Even popped up that way. So we'll just roll back out back onto our path still only have 40 rounds in this thing taking some damage so yeah, this is slow going right now. It would be a bit quicker if I could get any rifle ammo to drop. Let's 
still just 40. That's actually nice. I don't remember the last time I've been playing trying to get rifle primary ammo to drop. And it doesn't matter if it's rifle primary. Just call it primary. Still just 40. That's actually nuts. Oh well. Let's uh, uh B. Yeah, we can go for B first. I guess that's fine. Maybe there's some ammo in here. You gotta be kidding me. The target Not sure what's up with that, but if you either way. The alarms now, the enemy will start destroying data. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Okay. Oh yeah, it's this guy. Okay. A clean extraction with That's no two. alarms. Let's go ahead and push up. Oh, hey, hey, we got some ammunition. All right. Doesn't matter. We don't really need to mess with that. I don't need to engage. I'll save it for when and if an acolyte decides to pop in here. Grab that. Skip these guys. You know, I feel like um, Frost would work uh, quite nicely with the Nautilus the since he's already the focusing cold. This way. Yep. I hit this one. How did he see? You need okay, to retrieve that data before the data destruction is complete. Uh, where's the way up to this, though? I honestly don't recall. Oh, nope. I went the wrong way. I went all the way around. I guess it's possible I could pull this off, but I doubt it. I'm, I'm short on time. Yep, no, we're not getting it. We That's fine. Will have to suffice. It will Get to suffice. Extraction. Okay, already got the Verglass back up to 11. That's good. So, the Stalta in its current state is rather incumbent on getting the elimination with it to start. Since it's not pumping out a boatload of damage on the surface until all of the modifiers on the galvanized mods start to kick in, trying to decide what maybe would make the most sense. The charge shot does better damage. On the surface, it's got a pretty good crit chance. It's got a pretty good status chance. You know, fire rate to make, you know, more damage come out quicker. That's to boost the crit chance. So it does have a really good chance for critting. And when it does, I have the damage multiplied up to 4x. Uh, fire rate, we got up to 12. Because um, one of these does a little bit of damage reduction. Yeah, on here. So we lost 35% off the top. But I wanted that additional crit chance and I wanted that additional fire rate. Um, you know, there's... Probably something else I could consider putting on here, but I still feel like it's probably okay. So, if I can get somebody taken down quickly enough to finish them off with a precision headshot, that would probably help. Then that would give a nice damage boost on the top. Um, so, yeah, I'm not exactly sure how I would want to try to set this up, but I know that once it gets going... It does a good job. It pumps out uh, good damage here. All right, so Pandora. Yeah, I don't really want to 
play about with Arcwing. So we're not quite done with Saturn. We'll finish it up. I'll probably do that in the background. Um, but let's jump over to Europa, I suppose. And we'll see what we've got open over here. Interception. Excavation. Sabotage. How about Sabotage? Yeah, let's go for Sabotage. Oh, no, it's a rescue on Steel Path. Okay, that's fine. We can handle the rescue. This will give us another chance to see if we can make sure that we get our elimination uh, with a headshot. To see what it does to the damage Accept numbers your here. Death and you may okay, that's enough. I've got my overguard up. We've got our page flight out. Skip all of that. Don't want to burn through all of our ammunition. Alright. Still going up. Up, up, Stay up. Focused. Nope. There's oh a heavy gosh, unit it's approaching. this one. There we go. We'll grab some of that. We'll go grab some of that. You are approaching the holding area. Careful. If the wardens detect you, they will surely initiate the execution sequence. The bypass is done. Go. The hostage is almost out of time. Okay, so we'll start with the one upstairs, I guess. That is not the correct one. This is the jail. Our hostage is in one of these cells. Really? Thank the stars, not a minute too soon. Okay, the hostage, and they want us to go. Yeah, I guess we can do this. Escort the prisoner to the extraction point, and I'll take care of the rest. Oh. So annoying. Go through here. I need we'll skip a all that. Don't worry about the weapon. I'll have you out of here in just a minute. This looks bad. You're fine. Don't sweat it. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, not really the best test of the Stalta, but we got we got through that one. And we got a little bit more progress on the bird glass again. I should be able to get that thing a fair bit stronger. How about we do a sabotage? Sabotages are normally one of those kind of middle of the road mission types, in my opinion, where it's a pretty good test of whatever, just due to the way that they work. You know, it's an objective, but there's enemies in there while you're doing it so we need to destroy the reactor get some energy up the reactor. all right guys i think we've got enough we're gonna go ahead and move up um nope that's not the way this way yep up the stairs We've decided you're bad for business. I mean, stop the feels okay. Torrid it is not, but. We'll keep playing with this. It certainly doesn't feel bad. It's just uh, most things relative to the Torrid don't feel as strong. That's the reactor. Expose okay. its core and destroy it. 
That's it. Now get out oh. of here. Well, that was an easy sabotage mission. Unless she says change plans. Which she does like to do occasionally. Yeah, that was very anticlimactic. But another quick one down. You exist to strike. You strike to win. The I think, like, uh, Elimination would be a pretty good setup for really getting a feel for the adjustments I made on the Stalta. Because then I'm just trying to take out, you know, X number of enemies and just going through kind of sweeping room by room instead of bypassing stuff. I mean, yeah, I could have taken my sweet time in there, but may as well make uh, forward progress while we're playing. So, Abaddon is capture. Let's crossfire spy. What is Nama? Assassination. That could be an interesting test. Uh, it could be problematic if I run out of ammo and they don't drop any. Um, interception, no. Excavation, eh. I'd rather not. Let's, uh, let's go for capture first. We'll see what that opens, and then I guess we'll go for Nama. All right, we're going to move up. This way, looks like. You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. There we go. Salta did a decent job there. Excellent work. We'll interrogate the captive back at base. Your part is done here. Definitely not mad about its performance. Stay Pick focused. some of that up There's while we're at it. Unit approaching. Yeah, I've got the um, mod like I put on the Hound. Shields over 1200. You get a fire rate boost. So this thing actually does rattle off damage at a pretty good clip here. Yeah, see, now I've got Page White eliminating enemies. Is that going to give me a damage boost now? I mean, it's hitting just fine. Just fine. So yeah, that's kind of the key, at least with the setup I have. I guess my thought process behind it was pretty sound. It's just, you know, make sure I can get the headshot elimination. And then I get the primary deadhead bonus that throws in. In 24 seconds, it's a pretty good amount of time. And I know that can stack up to three times. But yeah, not bad. It is done. It's certainly more engaging of a weapon to use than the Torrid. I mean, I like the Torrid, obviously. I presume most people do because it does what it does. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, it's a little anticlimactic. This, you still got to work for it. <laughs> uh, okay, so we've got Nama. What did that open to defense? Eh. Yeah, let's go Nama. All right. I'm going to get Hate Flight out, and we're going to move up. Uh, looks like we're going this way this time. The new Raptor production facility appears to be entirely underground. A crashed freighter on the surface has been Oh yeah, 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 I'm yeah. Here they yeah. have developed even more deadly Raptor prototypes here. I remember there was a frame you had to farm here, though I don't recall which one it was. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. This may be difficult. The production facility is entirely automated. There is no way in without your warframe being torn up in the assembly line. You'll have to figure out how to destroy it from the planet's surface. That's one way to take them down. Yeah. 
And if I recall, there's an explosive barrel that you have to pop to shoot your way out of here. Yeah, you know, once you've got your perks up on the Stalta, Let's go. it's solid. It does rattle off some damage. Pretty good efficiency. And it's got a pretty quick reload rate. I think it's 1.4, 1.6, something like that. So Raptors, it's imperative we destroy the prototypes and their means. Definitely of not slow. Moving up. Oh yeah. Right here. Yeah, I remember this. Been a while since I've done the Raptor. I expect that uh, Stalt is going to do just fine for us in here, though. The Corpus are using a gravity conveyor system to move product up to the surface. These will be heavily shielded. Yep, that's right. Okay, we don't need to see the cinematic, so the first thing they want me to do is... Uh, we have to take out some enemies. Clear some ads out a little bit here. Just fine. We're almost done. Stay alive and finish the mission. Take out the rest of the conveyors. Yeah, stuff is feeling good here, guys. I have no complaints. I'm seeing massive internal damage to their facility. Still Keep it up. plenty of ammo. Turn the little guard back on here. Alright. Down here. And down she goes. The entire factory that was has absolutely gone no Great work, problem. Tano. The Corpus financiers will regret their investments today. Stalta felt now, quite nice there. there. Got to be honest. Definitely liking the way the Stalta feels. I'm I'm not sure that I want to necessarily rock the boat on a... What is this? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Wait, what's that message from the Lotus? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that earlier. I might do that. There's a free potato if you take the time to do it. Okay. Finally done through Let's the first night wave next. cycle. All right. Uh, what did that unlock? Armoros. That, ah, here we go. Exterminate. I think uh, we'll wrap up here for the day. We'll go Armoros. Crossfire. Yep. Steel path. That's perfect. Exterminate uh, to me is always going to be... Uh, good just set up to really test any kind of weapons build or, like if you're focusing on your frame just because there's so many targets to eliminate and that's your only objective just take your time sweep These it clean foes deserve your respect honor them with quick deaths get my energy up real quick guys and we'll move forward all right guys I'm gonna get my word working and then we're gonna move up Oh, good. A lockdown. Why wouldn't there be? Okay. I'm not entirely certain. 
if I did get a headshot in any of those, so... Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Everyone wants to go this way. Scald to having no problem against infested. That was a juggernaut. They were lured out by the death of infested. Lay low and it should go away or amp up the fight to draw it out. Not really super keen on dealing with the juggernaut because it's going to be so ammo hungry, but we'll move forward here in just a minute. The juggernaut has moved yep. on. Perfect. It's safe to proceed. Yeah, and I realize it's just infested. Plus some corpus bots, but either way, Stalk is still feeling good. Well, it does fire quite quickly with the mods I set up. Uh, which way is it? Do I get there through this door? No, but we'll check this stuff, I guess, while we're here. All right. So we got to go push back through this way. Aha! Yeah, I do like this uh, quick reload speed. It's quite nice. Um, okay. Maybe a few more up this way. More through here. Broken their ranks and they are on the run. Yep. Another Feels great with the status mission. primer too. Find extraction. And, um, it's a fun weapon. I like it. Fast fire rate. Puts out good damage. Especially once you get the uh, mod perks to proc in. It really starts ramping it up. And it's a lot more engaging than just mindlessly blasting the torrid that chains damage to everything. Not anti-Torrid, obviously. I've been using it. It's been quite fun to play with. And there's absolutely a time and a place for everything in this game. But um, just wanted to try out some other new stuff. And I remember that, oh yeah, the Stalta was one of the weapons I had in there that uh, pumped out some of the best damage I had seen on a non-incarnate. I'm sure there are others I don't know about. But uh, yeah, I am not mad with how the Stalta is feeling. Just for my own sake, we'll see what we did there. Okay, so we'll have to do these to sweep around to that side. That left, Crossfire Spy. Excavation, Defense, Interception. So yeah, probably next time I jump in, I might just play around uh, with Frost since um, I've got kind of a cold setup on the Nautilus and the Verglass. So we'll uh, jump in and we'll see how that feels. But uh, yeah, 
I'm liking uh, the new companion. Uh, they seem very useful, and I'm definitely liking the adjustments I did to the Stalta. Um, I think I still need to uh, maybe figure out a little bit quicker way to guarantee that I get the headshot elimination so that I can get the primary deadhead arcane bonus to pop in. Uh, once you do, it really does a good job. I think it's uh, on the rank two I have, it's a flat 60%, right? Let's just double check it. For 24 seconds, that stacks three times. That's correct. That's a really nice bonus, but yeah, I mean, on paper, it's not bad, but once you start getting all the other mod uh, modifiers to proc after you start getting the kills and everything operation. starts stacking, all it really, really does a good job of pumping out damage. Is it as fast as the Torrid? No, no, it's not. But it's also a lot more engaging to use than the Torrid. So, there you go. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Uh, next video, we're going to continue uh, doing a little more Steel Path work. Uh, continuing our path. And I'm probably going to be focusing on Frost Prime. Just to see how I think he feels with the Stalta and with the Nautilus in the background. Uh, but, uh, really, really good work again. Making slow, steady progress. And I'm... Um, feeling pretty good about the adjustments that I made. So guys, that is going to do it for today's video. As always, I do sincerely appreciate you checking in and we will catch you on the next one.